Halo. My name is Natalie Rosensky and I am a predator, meaning I am an animal that hunts and eats other animals for food. Who are you? Hello Natalie. My name is Jenna Vanderham and I am an American white rabbit. I am considered prey to many and therefore have many animals to avoid or I will get eaten. Are you one of them? I can't believe you eat other animals. What do you mean when you say you're a predator? Being a predator also means that I am a carnivore. This means that I am a flesh-eating animal. There are different types of predation. Those types are cannibalism, a species that feeds on animals of its own. Kind, herbivorous, animals that eat living plants, and carnivorous, animals that kill and eat other animals. Hmm, so I am a herbivore because I only eat grass and other plants. You are a carnivore. What exactly do you eat if you don't mind me asking? I eat animals like you. You're my prey. Well, I am not afraid of you yet. You say you eat meat and innocent animals like myself. But how do you catch me slash your prey? We are fast and have our own adaptations to keep us safe and not on your dinner plate. To catch my prey, like you, I will oftentimes stalk or track my prey in a secretive or sneaky way. I heard that this creepy quality that you have is called a predator adaptation. Each predator has adaptations to help it outsmart its prey. Keen senses, hunting strategies, and physical characteristics are all predator adaptations. But, why can't we all just be friends and eat grass like civil animals? If it wasn't for the predator slash prey relationship that we have, the environment we live in would be off balance. I suppose that is true. There wouldn't be enough available grass and knowing us rabbits, there would definitely be a bunny boom. We would be overpopulated and either starve to death or die by disease. One thing still doesn't make sense though. What if I, your prey, adapts to avoid your predation? For example, I have extra sensitive ears to hear when anyone is trying to sneak up on me. If you change your ways of protecting yourself against me, the predator, I must also adjust my ways of attack so the environment stays in check and I don't starve. If you move quick, I need to be quicker so I don't become prey myself. By moving quicker and having hunting strategies, you are showing off your predator adaptations. There are many more examples of predator adaptations. The great horned owl is nocturnal and has night vision to see its prey. It can also hear extremely well with its asymmetrical ears that help it pinpoint its prey. Also, a wolf has sharp teeth to quickly kill and eat their prey. They also hunt in packs with a strategy. They pick out the weakest link, try to separate the prey from the bunch and then, game over. It seems like predators, like yourself, have many adaptations that help you catch and eat your prey. Even a frog has a long tongue to catch insects. I am just thankful that I am still in the picture. We are both a part of a bigger picture, called a food chain. A food chain is basically the circle of life. For example, grass uses. Photosynthesis to grow, a bunny eats the grass, and a wolf eats the bunny. The wolf eventually dies, decomposes into the soil, and the process begins again. It is a process that just keeps repeating. What exactly is a trophic level? A trophic level is a step or level in a food chain. Since I am a carnivore, I am a part of the third or fourth trophic level. What this means is that I am the third or fourth part of the process. Like I explained earlier, grass would be first, the bunny second, and I would be like the wolf on the third level. Some predators eat other predators, making those animals a part of the fourth level. Oh so, predation is a part of natural selection? Natural selection is the process in which organisms adapt to their surroundings to help them survive or die out. Predation is a part of this because like we mentioned earlier, if an animal of prey cannot change the way they protect themselves and cannot defend themselves against predators like yourself, and those animals of prey will be your dinner. 
If a species cannot adapt, a species will die out. This idea of natural selection does go both ways, though. If my food adapts to my hunting skills, I will no longer be able to eat that food. And if I cannot adapt to the changes, I will starve and die out. Population sizes of predators and prey go hand in hand. If the population of prey increases, so does the population of predators. Because there is more food to eat. Also, if there is a low prey population, there will be a low predator population. Because obviously, there is less food. Like you said, predators like myself have different predator adaptations that help us obtain prey. For example, the way my teeth are shaped, the color of my skin for camouflage or my ability to run fast. Wow, what sharp teeth you have. I have also learned that other animals like wolves, sharks, bears, felines, wolverines and others that have sharp teeth use them to shred, tear, kill, and door to their prey. Predators, like yourself, are all carnivores that eat of their animals or insects. So after learning what a predator is and their adaptations, I think I'll be going. You're right. Basically, to sum it all up, we may not get along, being as I eat you for my dinner, but without you I cannot survive. So for that, I thank you. Bye, friend. 